Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we have a new product from ASUS, the ASUS ROG Suite Pro PG248QP. And I'm really excited about this one for this is the first time that I'll be testing a 540Hz refresh rate monitor. Hopefully, we can unleash the beast on this one and this is actually possible because of our friends from ASUS Philippines. Thank you so much and without further ado, let's unbox the unit. ROG box and let's try to check what is inside. Okay, we have a power cord. We have the power brick. We have a HDMI cable, USB cable, DP cable or display port cable. And what else do we have here? We have, okay, a manual, wow. We have a set of decals from ASUS, ROG, and of course, the actual monitor. Okay, and that's it for the unboxing. And next would be, of course, we're going to test it and power it on. Use it my computer, use it on my computer and test the capability of this monitor. I have the monitor for quite some time and so far my experience was amazing to the point that I'm spending a lot of times playing games and less video upload. I apologize for that one, but now let me share with you my experience. I have been trying to check ways to show you the difference like I tried using a camera rail for UFO for suit on the UFO test and I think I failed that test since it is prone to human error for I am not able to reproduce the same speed following that UFO over and over again. But guys, it was really smooth. And then I tried to shoot still several times on the 180Hz monitor and the PG248QP monitor. Yes, this might not be 100% accurate, but based on the photos, there are no coronas or ghosting captured from the PG248QP. ASUS also sent us a tool to use. Try to focus on the name on the top of that moving soldier. Check which one is clear. And it seems that the PG248QP wins on this round for it has a clear name on the top and it is actually better than the one on the right monitor. But the camera may not actually do justice for this test. Okay, honestly, those tools help us a lot to identify those things in 540Hz. Because with the list of games that I'm playing on my machine, I can't actually produce 500fps. I even tried to use the NVIDIA 4070 Ti from ASUS and I'm still far away from the 500 FPS on Tomb Raider or F1 2020. But still, I want to show you the actual experience on game like Apex Legends. I tried to swing on the rope and I can't actually notice so much difference on this one. But of course, we try quick movements with the mouse and as you can see, that there are lines that are broken with the 180Hz monitor on the right, while on the PG248QP, the lines are still straight and clearly visible. While for the moving target, it seems that the monitor on the top is better, that it produces clear target compared to the one at the bottom. You might say it might not be just uh, a clear capture from the camera or the angle of the camera is wrong, but luckily enough, the computer encountered the glitch and the target on the bottom stop. And as you can see, it is clear when the target is not moving. So bottom line is the monitor on the top, the PG248QP, produces better image at higher refresh rate. Now let us try to check the other information on this monitor. For the build, it has great ergonomics. You can adjust the height, swivel from left to right, and tilt. While the pit or base, it is fully adjustable as well. For the I.O. ports, it has one USB Type-B and two USB Type-A. One earphone port, one display port 1.4, and two HDMI 2.0. If you want to achieve that more than 240Hz refresh rate, use a DP cable for the DP port for the HDMI 2.0 maxes at 240Hz. It uses a 24-inch eSports TN panel, which is 50% faster than the traditional TN panels. 
Just a reminder that 540 Hz refresh rate is attainable via overclocking the monitor, which can be done using the buttons at the back of the monitor. Other features that can be set is ULMB2 or Ultra Motion Blur 2. It provides enhanced motion blur for competitive gaming. Just make sure to turn off G-Sync on NVIDIA control panel to enable this one. It also has NVIDIA Reflex which identifies end-to-end -end system latency. Another is in-game enhancement like stopwatch, timer, FPS counter, and crosshair. I'm not really sure if that crosshair functionality is a cheat, but definitely it helps with the first-person shooter game. You also have OD presets or overdrive presets that you can use to push monitor's response time speed. There is also a game visual presets to choose from to adjust the color and saturation of the monitor. Now for my conclusion. For competitive gamers, this is a need to have better advantage, but what about for regular gamers or enthusiasts like me? I would still recommend it for it gives you better gaming experience. That's if you have money to spare. For its current price tag is around 65,000 pesos here in the Philippines or more than 1,000 US dollar. And aside from the monitor, you should also have the best gaming computer to fully utilize that 540 Hz refresh rate. But overall, this monitor is a solid 5 star for me for I had a great time playing with it compared with the 180 Hz monitor that I currently have. My camera might not actually do justice with the test shown earlier, but definitely I can see the difference between the two. I just wish that I can set up a small test area on my location to have you test and see the difference for yourself. But guys, I have to send this monitor back to ASUS. And I think that will be all for now. If you have comment and suggestion, comment down below or message me at JK Chavez on FB. Again guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and... Bye.